the moral missing thread. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. Uh, if you're new here, uh, mo most most people who are returning already know this, but if you're new, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you know a couple of things might not make you happy or you might respect it. I don't know. Uh, I don't really care. Um, I mean, I do care, but I don't, if that makes sense. So... Um, Sometimes, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like a lot of people who will like literally praise every single song, video, whatever, you know, I, I, I can respect and appreciate certain aspects of things that I don't like. Um, you know, I generally, you know, most of the time I, I'm impressed on some level with the things that I react to. Sometimes I really love the things I react to. Sometimes not so much um there's quite a few genres that i'm not necessarily a fan of um one of them being uh like deathcore metalcore that that kind of sound um there's a couple of bands that i can appreciate on some level i can appreciate certain aspects of their production i, I appreciate their musicianship and their abilities it's just not my particular sound. It's not what drives me. It's not what gets me going. I can see how it does for a lot of people. I can see why people are so fucking into it. But for me, you know, the, when it comes to metal, you know, I'm I'm very I'm very old school. You know, I wouldn't necessarily call myself an elitist per se, uh, and I don't really like that term. I, I don't really. I, I try not to be that way, you know, but I'm rooted heavily in like thrash, black metal, old school death metal. So, um, you know, a lot of the newer sound, uh, some I can appreciate, some not so much. But this, um, t today, you know, I already know, I, I've, I've reacted to, to one Lorna Shore video before, the song, I think it was Immortal, um, and it was all right, it was okay. Um, the video was pretty good. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't like a huge fan of the song. The, uh, it, it mus musically, there was it had it had its moments that where I was like, oh, okay, this is good. But the, there was some, certain aspects of the vocals that I didn't necessarily really get into, um, and uh, just you know, just that style of music in general, it's not my thing. You know, it's just it's not my type of metal. Um, I'm, but yes, I'm doing a Lorna Shore video again today and, uh, you know, full transparency. I'm being a whore. I'm being a view whore. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this because I, I need views and I'm being a whore basically. So, um, but you know, I, I am a metal musician. I, I do try to keep an open mind even to stuff I don't like so that, you know, I'm, uh, it's not just me being a whore, you know, full transparency. But you know, I want to be entertaining, so uh, I, I want to I want to make sure everyone, you know, who likes different kinds of metals, I, I, I want I want all all in, inclusivity is the word I'm fucking looking for, and I'm doing a lot better with you know I, I a lot of you know that I've, I've been suffering with uh, I had the Delta variant of the COVID and it damn near took me out in the beginning literally. Like, uh, there were, there were a, a, a few days where I was really genuinely afraid that I was not going to wake up if I went to sleep just because of what it was doing to my body. Um, I wish it not upon anyone. It is awful. It is the worst thing ever. Um, but I am recovering and I, maybe I'm recovered. I don't know. I don't think I'm contagious anymore. I feel a lot better. I've been eating a lot of Taco Bell. Uh, the the frozen Baja blast, good God, that gives me new life. Um, and you know I've been drinking some ginger beer, uh, non-alcoholic. You know what I mean? It's like you know it's Barrett's ginger beer. It's really good. Um, my sense of smell has uh, returned. Uh, finally, it, it has been days, but uh, I put on this uh, Versace Oud Noir, and I can actually smell again and it is so incredible i'm gonna have to do a review video on it um because being a fragrance fanatic like i am and going you know 10 days without smelling any fragrances is is, is 
It's hell. No other way to describe it. But I'm going to stop talking uh, about all of this other stuff that, that none of you care about. Um, we're going to jump into this. This is Lorna Shore to the Hellfire. Interesting name for a song. So uh, I'm I'm actually kind of curious to see what this is going to going to be like. Again, Lorna Shore to the Hellfire. <laughs> I'm not hating the intro. Um, I, I liked that guitar, that the the clean guitar, um, the 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 fire, um, this like, and then the, the kind of leady riff. Um, it's funny because like a couple of the members look like Sir Loris Tyrell, from Game of Thrones. So, It was off to such a great start. It it was doing good. I was I was starting to like it. Uh, again, with the, the vocalist, it kind of looks like Sir Loris Tyrell. Um, oh, Lord. um uh, so the the vocal, the vocal is what's fucking me up right now. Um, normally I'm I'm I I'm more of the high like I'm I'm more into the higher end growls um but not this high not like where it sounds like a possessed five-year-old high like i like that kind of mid high kind of um the it's more prominent in black metal like uh, the, those kind of growls like with bands like uh Svarts and graph in here bands like that um this when i hear this what I visualize is okay. Season eight, um, the beginning of season eight of, of, of Game of Thrones. Um, you know, the, the, they've broken through the wall. They find the Umber Boy. Tormund finds Tormund and uh, the other guy. They find the Umber Boy, and he's like nailed to the wall. And he's got the the White Walkers have their weird sigil thing made out of arms and legs surrounding him, and he comes back to life and starts screaming. The little umber boy. He's, now he's a little dead screaming boy. This is that's what that sounds like to me. This this is what this is what to me it, that that vocal is. Okay, the vocal is getting a bit better. I like he's getting a bit lower. I I can dig that vocal. It fits to me a lot better. It it the you know there's just with with the blasts and the particular cording and the, the, this is like a wall of sound. Um, it's it's not bad. I mean it's it's dark. It's heavy. It's fast. Um, but it's uh. It's kind of hard to really differentiate really what everything that's going on because it is it's i don't know it, but it, it's not bad I'm, I'm liking the instrumentation to a degree um we're gonna keep going A 
Okay, I'm going to back it up just a little bit. we got to hear that again. Um, what I, I, I liked right then was the, the cadence and the rhythm, the, the time signatures and the cadence, the way they were breaking together. Um, and it was like, dun, 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 dun. like it was, it was very unique. I will give them that, that it was, uh, that was very cool. I actually liked that. I, I and my, I, I backed it up. We're, we're going to check that out again. <laughs> Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip-hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my name. Fuck me. Okay, that was, uh, that was, that took brutal to a, a level I'm not sure brutal has ever even been before. Maybe, possibly. I mean, that was, that was gut-wrenching. I mean, the brutality of that breakdown, like, that kind of, that might have hit me harder than COVID. Uh, that was nasty. That was filthy, fucking, disgustingly, just, like, rip your stomach lining apart, fucking brutal. Um, that was good. I surprisingly enjoyed that breakdown very much. It was very unexpected and very evil, and I liked it. Let's keep going. Okay, I like that the, the the vocals are layered. It's not there's not a whole lot of that high end possessed five year oldness going on anymore, which is good. Uh, you know, I like where there's like the depth, the real deep, and then the mid as well. Uh, the growls layered. That, that sounds cool, uh, especially when you've got this like epic or orchestration like going on behind everything. It's very very epic, for lack of a better word. Um, I mean, it, it's like cinematic, really. Um, this is, uh, this is heavy. to that kind of vocal and you know, there's a bit of that happening previously and yeah. um, you know again it's, it's not my thing it's just it's not not the sound I'm into the video is, you know I haven't really spoken much on that way yet um, the, the video there is not much to it you know it's cool they got some pyrotechnics going on there's some fire woohoo um, it, it's dark it's real simple. It's just real 
real simple. There's no like storyline. There's no like effects. There's no like creatures or you know different settings or anything. It's just it's just what it is. Um, so I guess really we're just here to focus on the music on this particular fucking video. Let's keep going. <laughs> there's what the, <laughs> those breakdowns are just like I mean it, there it, it didn't it didn't go on for a long time which was kind of cool it was just it was it was just like hi I'm, I'm here to punch you in your fucking guts as hard as I can like those sneer hits the reverberation and and just like the power is like the kick and the snare and just reverberating you know just that it was so hard like it was like hard as fuck I like that that was good it was good Okay, I'm digging. I'm digging these guitar riffs. I'm, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, mainly through through most of the song, I, I, I've, I've been appreciating the guitars. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of real fast riffs. There's a lot of just really good good guitar riffs going on. It, it's a full sound, um, very intricate. A lot of them. Uh, did they even have a fucking bassist? Like. I, I don't believe I've seen a bass yet. Maybe I'm mistaken, but let's keep going. Well, that, um, 
I don't I don't know I don't know how I feel about that. Uh like part of me <laughs> that that whole ending sequence. The, so the guitar solo with the the sweeps, there's a solid guitar solo. I, I, I like that. And it just going in to that fucking unrelenting, chaotic, just powerhouse of an ending, just that fucking breakdown. I mean, that, and that, whatever he was doing with his vocal, I mean, just. I, I have not heard anything that fucking intense in a long time. Um, maybe ever. Uh, I mean, I felt that all through my guts. Like, the, uh, that might have opened some of my incisions back up. I don't know. That was, that was so gruesome on so many levels. And uh, it, it was, I, I can appreciate it. I, I I dare even say I enjoyed it a lot. Yes. Um, again, the the one thing that I, you know I just I wasn't feeling the those particular vocals that I spoke of and why, but you know I I can over overlook that for this particular track because of the intensity and the orchestration of the rest of it. It was uh, very well written, very well constructed. Uh, very, very dark, very brutal. Uh, it served a purpose. Uh, it was aptly named uh, "To the Hellfire." Fucking a. Um, so anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching this with me. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And I'll be bringing you more. Uh, not just this. Like I mean, there's going to be some black metal and some thrash metal and some other shit. So, uh, you know, and, and sometimes I even do pop. I know. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's links in the description. I've got some cool stuff in my merch store if you feel like supporting. Uh, we're still on the race to 5K. There's the 4K commemorative shirt that is only going to be available until we hit 5K. So if you want to snag that, snag that quick. Um, and thank you for your continued support and patronage. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I'm going to go. Get people out of the internet.